Hey guys, welcome to your video on how to naturally reset your pelvis and your SI joint. And the reason why this is important is it all starts in our pelvis. If our pelvis is slightly twisted or skewed from the SI joint, everything is going to be out of alignment because the pelvis is the base and that's how we move and that's how our main muscles which pull on our leg to propel us forward first contract and then program our core. So having a balanced pelvis and one that is functioning optimally instead of dysfunctional is really important. And this can also lead to lower back injuries, uh, shoulder issues, um, neck and jaw issues, as well as a length discrepancy in your legs. And so what I'm gonna show you today is uh, four simple moves. It's so simple. And what you're going to need is um, a yoga strap. I don't have a yoga strap, so I'm totally improvising. A yoga strap, a yoga block. I couldn't find my yoga strap and yoga block. So what I'm using instead is a lid to a box. <laughs> it's like the size, the length of a yoga block. A pillow, and you'll see why and then some pants instead of a yoga strap. So that's also how you can improvise. One second. I'm gonna grab my pants. Okay, so it's a little weird, but it's very, very effective. So what you wanna do first is lay on down with the lid or your yoga block, and we're gonna put it lengthwise between our knees. Oops. Make sure you can see me there, yep. Yeah. All right, so laying down, feet are as close to your glutes as possible and right together. You're gonna open your knees and place this lengthwise between your knees. And then you're gonna squeeze, and that's gonna activate all of your inner thigh muscles in your psoas. And then you're gonna rock your hips while you squeeze 10 times. You can push your elbows into the floor for stability. Keep your core tight and you really want to squeeze as hard as you can. If your pelvis is really out of alignment, you're going to feel this pop and maybe a pull in your groin area. That's all those muscles pulling your SI joint and your pelvis back into alignment already. So rock for 10. One, two, three, four, while you squeeze the whole time. Okay, up to 10. And then you release that. And now if this was a yoga block, I would turn it widthwise, but because it's not, that's why I'm using my pillow and I'm gonna fold it. Once again, right between the knees and squeeze as hard as you can, rocking for 10 again. One, two, three, squeezing the whole time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you wanna stabilize with your upper body really activate those inner thigh muscles, all those groin muscles, to pull, and then rock. And that totally resets. And then release that. And then you would grab your yoga strap or your pants, like me. And we wrap these just above the knee on the lower thigh, sorry, yeah, the lower thigh, nice and tight. Place your feet back as close to your glutes as possible, right together. And then you pull your pants or your strap tight. And then you push your knees out. So now we're activating the outer hip and all of those stabilizers of the pelvis. And once again, rocking for 10. One, two, three, four, five. It's a workout. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pushing out hard. As, as much as you can the whole time. And sorry, release that just a little bit and then lift your hips up as high as you can while keeping your knees together. Okay, and then roll your head, not turn it, but roll. So your head moves kind of in a crescent movement. That's the sign of a good head roll. 10 times, five, six, keeping your hips as high as you can, seven, Eight, and this naturally adjusts the cervical spine. Nine and ten. And then slowly lower. And a couple.
Come on up. And that's it.